Well, you know, after that lead-in, is Ben Roethlisberger a racist? I was going to have to come in and lead with that. Hi, I'm Marky e. Bilson, Tri-City Sports Now, 1420. Patton Kizire, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right, has pulled even on the leaderboard with a three under par. So he is, there's two players now leading the Masters and... Uh, Other one is the South African golfer, and if the world's slowest computer, and I know I should have written it down, but I didn't, so there you go. Uh, but there are two people on top of the Masters leaderboard. We wait, we wait, we wait. This is just horrible radio. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but here, no. I wanted to mention that with the uh, Rothley I have had over the years of Mike Tomlin is that he just seems to want to bring in breaking uh, situation as Kazare is no longer on the leaderboard of the Masters and retaking the lead. The Green Jack up there, Mike Tomlin has got to bring in to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know part of that is also, you know, the general manager or something like this, but, you know, Mendenhall here is the running back. Let's just point, this is a guy that when Osama bin Laden died, uh, and when the Americans captured Osama bin Laden, and there was, you know, you know how you felt. Oh, there was a bit of closure to 9-11. There was a source of American pride. You didn't have to worry maybe about that much less. There was that much less fear of terrorism in the world. Your own life, yeah, you know, became more secure. Mendenhall, I remember, tweeted out, it's amazing how many people can say negative things about someone they've never met. We're talking about Osama bin Laden here. Uh, that's either just plain dumb or a real, oh, let's love everybody here, you know, <laughs> to the point of absurdity. I mean, just a flower child type of uh, mentality, and I'm really bending over backwards to try to defend men and all when I say that. Anyway, now he has come out, and, you know, with all the circumstances, with Ben Roethlisberger and, uh, you know, Antonio Brown and the feud, I do have a problem on bad Ben Roethlisberger good. Okay, I think part of that, we heard Brian Woodson say, you want to, you know, you don't want to uh, anger the people you cover. Sometimes, you know, my whole feeling with that is, look, if you come out and you say Ben Roethlisberger shouldn't have thrown four interceptions in a game, you're absolutely legit. I could make the same argument that uh, any number of uh, losses, a tie to the Browns, a uh, loss to the Raiders in Oakland also did that. This is what Richard Mendenhall, the former Steelers running back, who himself had a pretty costly fumble in, what was it, Super Bowl Forty Three, had to say, all right, I'll end the mystery. B, in other words, Roethlisberger's racist, and Antonio Brown's black. He had to catch balls from a racist quarterback. Every honest player knows it. It's not a big deal. He was just supposed to take his lickings and move on like a slave for real. Now, in some instances, yes, I do think that... Uh, Although I did think that Roethlisberger's criticisms on his radio show of Antonio Brown were legit, and I was, yes, as a member of the media, I was thankful to hear them, and I think they're honest, and I think that's the way they should go. It's not as you shouldn't say that and just have nothing but uh, bland coach speak in the locker room, so I do. Uh, Burgers turned over a new leaf. I really still don't want to tell you that. I found him to be arrogant. Maybe a good leader needs to be some, yeah, have some arrogance to him, but it's that sort of arrogance that wears you down. And I think that's what happened with Antonio Brown. Now, Antonio Brown is obviously arrogant as well. It's just the whole thing of, wait a minute, where does this come from? Uh, and it also is from the person who, yes, defended Osama bin Laden, or at least said many years ago, geez, it's amazing how many people can show such hate for somebody they've never met when the military... Osama.
literally lay your body out and give your entire being for a higher cause, the greater good of a team. I would think that athletes of all races could. And when you face the firing squad for something not entirely your undoing, depending on your position and skin tone, the team may very well leave your derriere out to dry. Think about what it would take to render Brown the greatest competitor of our generation. Okay, now that gets to be all this subjective stuff. And, you know, why is he a better competitor than Heinz Ward? Why is he a better competitor than Tom Brady, really? And then that if uh, Roethlisberger is racist, that he's been able to work uh, side by side without these allegations coming forth for how many years? Uh, and for that matter, uh, working for a black coach, that sort of thing. Uh, is he been, you know, what is the thing? Was he trying to throw more to Heath Miller and, uh, Jesse James, the white tight ends or something than Antonio Brown? No, obviously that wasn't the case. In fact, Marquise Pouncey, an African-American center, has previously stuck up for Big Ben as a leader in this story that I racist without really, you know, explain this. What is it? What, what are we not getting? What do we see? I mean, if you make an allegation like that, give me a little bit of proof. I do think that uh, ra the scarlet letter of racism is that he is a very arrogant person. He is a very arrogant leader that can, yes, snap a six and 10 team to go 15 and one as it did and win the Super Bowl the next year. It also caused a regression to eight and eight because after a while, the cracking of the whip does create some resentment and uh, it doesn't work so well. And that's probably one of the reasons why, over the last 10 years, the Patriots have been so dominant and the Steelers have been also Rams for a long, long time. Uh, it's going to be Roethlisberger's team. You do a takeover maybe someday soon. And Kraft said that's not the way a good business works. And for that matter, I like the bird in the hand. And then Jimmy Garoppolo would go out to San Francisco. And although he did have some initial success, there is some questions about what's he doing. You know, is he... And, and yeah, you know, Garoppolo goes out with 41-year-old porn stars. Brady marries Giselle Bündchen. Okay, you do the math. There you are. But... Uh, I get all this. I just think it is disappointing, you know, that you have that racist uh, scarlet letter you're trying to put on Roethlisberger. And what is really the proof here? Absolutely. Polarizing? He certainly is. And again, um, you just ask yourself, why couldn't Mike Tomlin, the Steelers, I mean, the idea of character, of team chemistry, which was actually something that back in the glory days of the Steelers in the 70s was something that they kind of like, okay, let's look at the makeup of the people here that we are bringing in. Chuck Noll famously looked at the classes that the players were taking in college, at which point Terry Bradshaw once asked him, well, then why in the world did you draft me? And he said, well, you know, you did have a pretty good arm in that. And we thought we could mold you, and we know you're not a bad person. You know, that sort of thing. All right, so. But, yeah, the idea of team chemistry out the window with the Steelers continues this way, and you just start to wonder, you know, for the coach that allows this all to go on, how could it come out? Where is the discipline? Tomlin's career started at VMI, of all places, in coaching. He left to go to Memphis after a year. I've always wondered if maybe, just maybe, Tomlin, who went to Ver William and Mary, and therefore this is how he has put his team together. And now it's coming back to bite him. That's my point there. Uh, Tri-City Sports now. We are at the end of the show. I would like to remind you that we'll have Josh Brown on Nakahoma Nation, uh, 1.30 tomorrow, and also Jerry Bonkowski at 1, talking about the race coming up in Richmond.
in game two. It's a 4.30 start. We'll try uh, having you a little bit sooner than that, but a 4.30 start for Unicoi County Baseball today. Anyway, division, even with all this. Yeah, addition by subtraction. Brown. But believe me, there'll be some other friction as long as Ben Roethlisberger is there. It's not all Brown good, Roethlisberger bad, but it has gotten to the point of absurdity.